Hi my little rainbows, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own custom blender theme using Blender 2.79. I have gotten a lot of requests to make this video because of my blender theme right here. This isn't available on BlendSwap, which is where people usually get their blender themes from, and people have been asking me how I made this, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website called Coolers. I believe that's how you pronounce it, I'm not too sure. This basically has color palettes and just getting ideas for your blender theme. For this blender theme, I didn't really use a color palette, but if you need inspiration, then you should probably use this website. So how it works is you go to start the generator and there are different color palettes and there are different colors that you can choose from and just press the space bar and it'll generate a brand new palette. So just like this and it keeps generating. So basically all you have to do is take a screenshot. So like this or something. And then I'll be showing you how you can import that to Blender later and how you can pick colors from your screenshot and add it to your Blender theme. So yeah, just find one that you like and then when you do find one, just like screenshot it or something. I actually took matters into my own hands and I created my own palette. So here's the palette that I came up with. I've been obsessed with these colors lately, so I kind of wanted to make a Blender theme based on these colors. So that is what I will do today. So the first thing you want to do is click on File user preferences and you're going to want to click on add-ons and then search up planes then you're going to tick the little box right over here then just x out of this so i just went ahead and just imported my rig quickly not that i needed it, i just wanted to import it anyways so just press shift and a mesh and then images as planes then just go to your desktop and import your screenshot that you took so i'm going to import this one import images as planes and then when you drag it up your color palette is going to be imported so i'm just going to change my mode to material mode that way the colors look a lot more brighter so now we're going to get into actually customizing the theme so you're going to want to go to file user preferences again and we were in add-ons before but you're going to want to go into themes and this is where you will be able to save your blender theme what i'm going to do is press reset to default theme that way we are able to see the colors a lot better and we are basically able to like see the changes actually taking place and over here you will see all of the different places in blender where you will be able to customize your theme right here we are on user interface which is this area over here where all your the camera settings are denoising, ambient occlusion, and all of those settings. You also have 3D view, which is this area right over here. You also have the timeline, which is where, which is used for animations. And there's also UV slash image editor, which is where your animation is rendered. Node editor, properties, outliner, user preferences, info, and file browser. And those are basically all of the main areas that you use when making a GFX, and you don't really need to focus on anything else. So right now, I'm going to be just showing you how it basically works. So I'm just going to move this over here where I can see my color palette. So right now I'm just going to go to outline and as we can see we have our color codes over here. So I'm going to go to hex code and we are going to import the hex code. So for example I'm just going to do FFB3C1. Now everything is now outlined. So as you can see this is outlined all the little boxes and if we look over here this is also outlined in a pink and so are these buttons and i think for the button i want to make them green so i'm just going to change the color to the this color right over here and now just repeat the process for everything else i'm going to speed this up super fast because this does take a really long time to do so yeah have fun customizing your blender theme and i will be here when i am done to show off the final product
finished making my blender theme. Here is how it looks. I'm actually pretty happy with this one. But now I'm just going to show you what each area looks like. And now I'm going to show you how to save your Blender theme. So what you want to do is go to File, User Preferences, and then just press Save User Settings. So once you click that, it should save and when you exit Blender and go back, it should have the same theme. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments so I can try and help you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. XLXO Rainbow.